What's happening? What's happening? Uh, I want to talk about something in this video. Hopefully, you can hear me. Um, really, what's up with y'all, though? You feel me? <laughs> um, man, I was, you know, I'll be watching videos and stuff, you know what I mean? And um, it get me thinking and stuff, you know? Um, lately, I've been watching a lot of uh, just kind of like videos about black history or just in the financial sense, you know what I'm saying? Money wise, because I did a Google search one time and it said that black people made the less money as a rate in you know race. Black people financially was the lowest way race. And that kind of fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? So I've been kind of diving into a lot of financial content. You know? And this 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 the thing with this video though, it's like not not the fake motherfuckers. And excuse my language if you a youngster or whatever. Not the fake people on online, because it's a lot of fake financial literacy content creators that's really just out to get your money. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to throw salt on nobody's game or, or their business or nothing. It is what it is, but it's a lot of people out here that's going to sell you a dream, sell you hope, especially if they're going to target the black community. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember it was a, uh, if you old enough, you probably remember watching In Living Color when you was young. In Living Color. And uh, it was a particular character, <clears throat> Damon Wayans, right? He was playing this character. <laughs> and he was he was a dude that's in jail and he was like a, 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 a he was a black activist, Muslim type dude, right? No disrespect to the Muslims or nobody, but it's the character he was. And he would talk like my brother, you know what I'm saying? And use these big words trying to make sense. And it just sound crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he would really just be doing word salad type shit, trying to get you to think he's smart. And that's what I see online a lot. It's crazy. And I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even. I, I don't. I ain't hating on bro. He from around my way. You know what I'm saying? But he remind me of that dude, 19 Keys. I swear to God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you if you look up Damon Wayne's The Living Color, uh, what's the fuck his name is? Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, but the guy who be the the dude who be talking. I don't know what you should look up. Damon Wayne's The Living Color. Uh, I don't know what you should look up to find it. Just Damon Wayne's The Living Color. You're going to see him with the little hat. You know what I'm saying? He in a jail cell talking all, you know, my brother and this and that using big words. If you look that up and then you watch 19 Keys, you're going to see a similarity, man. I swear to God. And I ain't trying to diss the nigga. Nothing. Feel me? I, 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 I fuck with 19 Keys on his intellectual abilities and all of this shit. And he from around my way. You know what I'm saying? He like an hour away, almost an hour away from where I'm from. So it's like, I fuck with you. But it's funny that you remind me of a dude from a living color, man. <laughs> so you got to watch out, though. I ain't going to lie. I ain't trying to say nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this my point, because I, I keep to the 100. I'm talking to, I'm talking to you for real. I'm not on no fake ass. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do shit for the money ass shit. So some people is. But, hey man, you gotta watch out when you're trying to learn about financial literacy. You know, they call it generational wealth, all this shit. You gotta watch out, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna hype your ass up, and they're gonna tell you something slick, and make it stick. And then they're gonna say, hey, Pull out your debit card, man. You know what I'm saying? Buy this course right here for $3,000. And you're going to learn how to 
create yourself some gener gen uh, generational wealth. You know, for your kids, your family, your bloodline. You know, they're gonna put it on thick for your ass, man. And you're gonna be thinking like, you know what? I'm tired of struggling. I, you know, and, and and this is this is the reason why people do it. Yeah, you don't know a lot, shit. You don't know what you don't know. And you wanna know the shit to get you further in life, financially. So if somebody talking slick, and they sound, and they seem like they the truth, you feel me? And they's like, hey man, you know, buy into my course. The reason why it's priced so high is because I only want to select few, I only want the real ones in there that's willing to invest in themselves. You gonna feel like, all right, I'm a real one. When I invest into this, I'm good. They about to lead me to the top. That's how you gonna feel. And you gonna pay $3,000 for the course that's gonna teach you some basic ass shit. I seen it. I know people who did that, you know what I'm saying? When this, when this generational wealth in the black community hype was going around, and I'm not trying to call out names, you feel me? But, you know, you know, you probably know who I'm talking about, about the group of people, you know what I'm saying? Generational wealth. I'm going to teach you how to get your credit right. I'm going to teach you how to do real estate. I'm going to teach you how to put cars on Toro and all of this shit, right? Basic, basic ass uh, knowledge, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> that if you read a few books, you feel me? Or you just figure some shit out, take your time, do your research online, all the shit, you can figure it out. They're charging $3,000 for the course, man. Now get your money, man. I'm, I mean, hey, because you know what? You, you, you know what I learned? That there's always a group of people in the world who is naive and who is gu gullible. I'm one of them when it comes to certain shit. I done bought courses. I done invested into shit. I done invested time into shit thinking that you know, I found the loophole that was gonna change my life and help me out. But really, the person making the shit was just, it was a cash grab, man. He's trying to get his money. So that's what had me like, you know what? I'm about to do the same shit. I'm just trying to get my money, man. But then I, 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 I realized that, hey man, I'm dealing with real people when I do what I do. This is way before I started this channel. Like, these are real people that are trying to do something the same way I'm trying to do something. So why would I why would I create cash grab ass opportunities that's leaving people stuck just to come up and put some money in my pocket and feel like shit at the end of the day. Because if you don't feel like shit after doing that, then you ain't shit. Real talk. Like, you feel me? So that's why I, I I was like, you know what? I'ma just I switched my my I switched my mindset of wanting to be rich, rich, wealthy, rich. To rich is what I am able to. to rich to me is I can be comfortable. I can take care of my family. I could pay bills and rent easily without stressing. There's no stress financially, right? I could buy what I want. I could make my, my, my kids happy. You know what I'm saying? I could raise them right with no, with, 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 you know what I'm saying? I don't got to stress on money. I could take some trips here and there, out of the country, with my family, whatever, right? That's rich to me now. Rich, you know what I'm saying? Rich, rich to me is not having the most money. Being a billionaire. Being, you know what I'm saying? Even like a hundred millionaire. hundred A hundred million type shit. That's, that's not rich to me right now. You know what I'm saying? Rich to me is I can live where I want. I can drive what I want. I can buy what I want. I can wear what I want. I can eat what I want. I can go where I want. And I can spend my time with the people I love however much I want. Right? And I can provide a better life for my kids and my family, my wifey, and all the shit. That's rich to me. And I don't need that much money to do that. Because I done created my life. I done created my goals. I done created my life 
purpose, all of that. So I don't need that. I don't need a billion dollars to do that. I don't even need a hundred million to do that. You see what I'm saying? So that changed my whole outlook on shit. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to do shit that'll bring other people down. I'm out to help. The more people I help, the more money in my pockets. Real talk. So, you gotta watch out for the fake people, the fake black woke people. Uh, you gotta watch out for the people who are work, who are undercover agents, right? They are playing both sides. You know what I'm saying? They're really in bed with the, with the, I want to say enemy, but you know, I don't want to get greasy, but like, you know what I'm saying? And they act like they for us. When I say us, I mean the struggling people, people trying to come up out of poverty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to watch out for a lot of these celebrities that are only in it for the, you know, I mean, of course we all in the shift, we trying to get money, but you got to watch out for the puppets that want to lead you astray. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you got to watch out for the fake opportunities. You know, they going to present opportunities that sound good, but it's just not benefit. It's not real. It's not beneficial to you. Or it's, it's going to, you know, they're going to present you an opportunity that takes 10 years to profit and be and live well in, but they're going to act like it's going to take six months. Right? So you just got to watch out, man. And that's what this video is about is, you know, we all trying to get our finances up and learn money. But you got to watch out for these roadblock motherfuckers. That's out to set you back. And that's it, man. Let me know what you think. I'm out.